I kept it very quiet, especially because my life was so public. I didn't want anyone to know that I came from this family that was struggling, because then people might think that your mayor is struggling. During the pandemic, my older sister, Grady, was diagnosed with stage one breast cancer. And long story short, she had a double mastectomy, but I watched her get very, very depressed after that. And she suffered from depression before that, but on top of that, and then on top of the medication that she was taking, um, I think she became extremely paralyzed. My sister Amanda and I, we took care of her while she was going through cancer. And unfortunately, she died about three months later. She stopped going to treatment. She said to me, Hillary, I would much rather have cancer than depression. And that's how severe it was. It was that severe. And it just, it broke my heart because, you know, she, she suffered her whole life with depression. But, you know, I think what's hard about that is on our death certificate, it will say breast cancer, but we've got to have the honest conversation in this country that it, it actually should say, you know, mental health, mental illness. Eight weeks later, my brother who had struggled with mental illness and addiction uh, was found dead at home, like right after that. And he, you know, had struggled his whole life too. Going through that time was also, you know, an eye opener for me. Here was my city falling apart, my family falling apart. I just had to sort of have this honest conversation with myself about my depression. I reached out for services and I was just shocked at how difficult it was to access treatment and help. It was just shocking to me that they said, yeah, we can see you in eight weeks and also you have to pay cash. It didn't matter you know, if I had insurance or what about the people that don't have insurance. And so I really made a commitment to myself that I would go out there and I would speak publicly about this. If your mayor's not talking about mental health, who is? And there's so many families like mine that, that are struggling. If we're going to truly tackle the mental health crisis in this country, we have to be doing it together. We have to break down the silos. We have to be transparent about it. But after I started to talk about it, I, I have to tell you, it was a massive weight lifted off my shoulders that I had finally, like, been very truthful about all the struggles that my family had gone through for so long. And I can't change it for them, but I can change it for others. I truly believe it's the number one crisis in this country that has gone on for far too long.